The Northeast Caucasian languages, or Nok Dagestanian languages, are a language family spoken in the Russian republics of Dagestan, Chechnya and Ingushetia and in northern Azerbaijan as well as in diaspora populations in Western Europe, Turkey and the Middle East. They are occasionally called North Caspian, as opposed to North Pontic for the Northwest Caucasian languages. Name of the family Several names have been in use for this family. The most common term, Northeast Caucasian, contrasts the three established families of the Caucasus language area, Northeast Caucasian, Northwest Caucasian, Abkhaz Adygean, and South Caucasian, Kartvelian. This may be shortened to East Caucasian. The term Nok o, Dagestanian can be taken to reflect a primary division of the family into Nok and Dagestanian branches, a view which is no longer widely accepted, or Dagestanian can subsume the entire family. The rare term North Caspian, as in bordering the Caspian Sea, is only used in opposition to the use of North Pontic, as in bordering the Black Sea, for the Northwest Caucasian languages. Linguistic features Phonology Historically, Northeast Caucasian phonemic inventories were thought to be significantly smaller than those of the neighboring Northwest Caucasian family. However, more recent research has revealed that many Northeast Caucasian languages are much more phoneme-rich than previously believed, with some languages containing as many as 70 consonants, in addition to numerous oral obstruents. Many Northeast Caucasian languages also possess a number of back consonants, including uvulars, pharyngeals, and glottal stops and fricatives. Northeast Caucasian phonology is also notable for its use of numerous secondary articulations as contrastive features. Whereas English consonant classes are divided into voiced and voiceless phonemes, Northeast Caucasian languages are known to contrast phones into voiced, voiceless, ejective, and tense variants, which contributes to their large phonemic inventories. Some languages also include palatalization and labialization as contrastive features. Most languages in this family contrast tense and weak consonants. Tense consonants are characterized by the intensiveness of articulation, which naturally leads to a lengthening of these consonants. In contrast to the generally large consonant inventories of Northeast Caucasian languages, most languages in the family have relatively few vowels. However, there are some exceptions to this trend, such as Chechen, which has at least 28 vowels, diphthongs, and triphthongs. Morphology These languages can be characterized by strong suffixal agglutination. Weak tendencies towards inflection may be noted as well. Nouns display covert nominal classification, but partially overt cases of secondary origin can be observed too. The number of noun classes in individual languages range from 2 to 8. Regarding grammatical number, there may be a distinction between singular and plural. Plurality itself may impact the class to which a noun belongs. In some cases, a grammatical collective is seen. Many languages distinguish local versus functional cases, and to some degree also casus rectus versus casus obliquus. The inflectional paradigms are often based on partially classifying productive stem extensions, absolutive, and oblique, ergative, and genitive inflection. Localization is mostly conveyed by postpositions, but it can be also partly based on proverbs. Noun phrases exhibit incomplete class agreement, group inflection, on the noun, with partial attributive oblique marking, which may, in turn, carry a partially determining function. Ergativity Most Northeast Caucasian languages exhibit an ergative absolutive morphology. This means that objects of transitive sentences and subjects of intransitive sentences both fall into a single grammatical case known as the absolutive. Subjects of transitive sentences, however, carry a different marking to indicate that they belong to a separate case, known as the ergative. This distinction can be seen in the following two Archie sentences. Note that objects and subjects of intransitive sentences carry no suffix, which is represented by the null suffix. Meanwhile, agents of transitive sentences take the ergative suffix, mu. Blue is used to mark ergative markers, as well as intransitive agents in the English translations. Red is used to mark null morphemes, as well as transitive objects and intransitive subjects in the English translations. Noun classes Northeast Caucasian languages have between two and eight noun classes. 
In these languages, nouns are grouped into grammatical categories depending on certain semantic qualities, such as animacy and gender. Each noun class has a corresponding agreement prefix, which can attach to verbs or adjectives of that noun. Prefixes may also have plural forms, used in agreement with a plural noun. The following table shows the noun adjective agreement paradigm in the TSEZ language. Colors are used to emphasize agreement between adjectival prefixes and noun classes. Language classification A long-time classification divided the family into Nok and Dagestanian branches, once the term Nako dagestanian However, attempts at reconstructing the proto-language suggest that the Nok languages are no more divergent from Dagestanian than the various branches of Dagestanian are from each other, although this is still not universally accepted. The following outline, based on the work of linguist Bernard Comrie and others, has been adopted by Ethnologue. An Avar Andi Dido branch was abandoned, but has been resurrected as the new type. Languages in Schultz 2009, 2013, and Lok Dargwa has likewise returned. Population data is from Ethnologue 16th ed. Avar Andic family Spoken in the northwest Dagestan highlands and western Dagestan. Avar is the lingua franca for these and the Sezik languages and is the only literary language. Schultz 2009, gives the following family tree for the Avar Andic languages. Avar 761960. Andic languages. Andi Kwana 5800. Akbak Tindi Akbak 210 as of 2010. Karata Tindi Karada Kurdi 260 as of 2010. Botlik Tindi Botlik 210 as of 2010. Godobiri 130 as of 2010. Chamalal 500 as of 2010. Bagbalal Tindi Bagbalal 1450. Tindi 2150 figures retrieved from Ethnologue. These languages are spoken in the following rayons of Dagestan, Axfax, Botlik, Bainiks, Shira, Karadinsky, Suribi, Gurgibal, Gumbatovsky, Baklal, Gunab, Karabudakskayant, Kazbekovsky, Dylam, Lavasa, Sumata, Igvali, Untsukal, Zevda, Zunzak and Zakatala rayon in Azerbaijan. Darjik, Dargan, dialect continuum Spoken by 492,490 in Dagestan, as well as Azerbaijan, Central Asia, and Ukraine. Dargwa proper is a literary language. Dargwa, Darga Kachtak Kabachi Itsari Churig Dargwa is spoken in the following rayons of Dagestan, Akasa, Kaitak, Kayakant, Kabachi, Sergakala. Kainalug Zinalug Isolate. Spoken in Kuba Rayon of Azerbaijan. Kainalug Zinalug 1000 speakers. Lok Isolate. Spoken in the Central Dagestan Highlands. Lok is a literary language. Lok 152,000 speakers Lok is spoken in two rayons of Dagestan, Kumiks and Kuli Bachi. Lesjik family Spoken in the southeast Dagestan highlands and in northern Azerbaijan. The Lesgian language or, as the Lesgian people themselves call it, Lesgi Clal, Lesgi Chal, is the biggest in terms of the number of native speakers of all the languages of the Lesgic group. Other languages from this group include Tabasaran, Udi, Zakor, and Rudal. They are spoken in the following rayons of Dagestan, Agul, Aksti, Durbant, Kavever, Kasuksar, Kuriks, Magaramkent, Rudal, Tabasaran, Yujoke, Xiv in Kuba and Zakatala in Azerbaijan. Tabasaran was once thought to be the language with the largest number of grammatical cases at 54, which could, depending on the analysis, instead be the TSEZ language with 64. 
Lesgian and Tabasaran are literary languages. Lesgic family tree Peripheral, Archie, 970 speakers Samur, or Nuclear Lesgian Eastern Samur Tabasaran, 128,900 Lesgian, 655,000 Agal, 29,300 Udi, 6,590 Southern Samur Kreitz, 5,000 Budak, 1,000 Western Samur Rutal, 47,400 Zakor, 23,673, all figures retrieved from Ethnologue Nok family Spoken in Chechnya, Ingushetia, and Georgia. Chechen and Ingush are official languages of their respective republics. Bats 3,420 speakers in Georgia in 2000. Vinic languages Chechen 1,350,000. Ingush 322,900. Sezik Didoic family Spoken mostly in southwest Dagestan. None are literary languages. Formerly classified geographically as East Sezik, Hinuk, Besta, and West Sezik, Tsez, Kwarshi, Hunziv, these languages may actually form different subgroupings according to the latest research by Schultz. 2009. Tsez Hinuk, Tsez, Dido, 12,500. Hinuk, Hynix, Jinuk, 5 as of 2010. Besta Hunziv Kwarshi, Besta, Kapucha, 6,800. Hunziv, Gunziv, 1,420. Kwarshi, Kavarshi, 8,500. All figures except for Kwarshi were retrieved from Ethnologue. These languages are spoken in Sunsan and Besta areas of Dagestan. Connections to other families North Caucasian family hypothetical. Some linguists such as Sergei Starostin think that the Northeast and Northwest Caucasian languages should be joined into a putative North Caucasian family, citing shared vocabulary and typological features as evidence. This proposed family does not usually include the neighboring Kartvelian languages. This hypothesis is not well demonstrated. Connections to Hurrian and Urartian disputed. Some linguists, notably Igor M. Diakonov and Starostin, also see similarities between the Northeast Caucasian family and the extinct languages Hurrian and Urartian. Hurrian was spoken in various parts of the Fertile Crescent in the 3rd and 2nd millennia BC. Urartian was the language of Urartu, a powerful state that existed between 1000 BC or earlier and 585 BC in the area centered on Lake Van in current Turkey. The two extinct languages have been grouped into the Hurro Urartian family. Diakonov proposed the name Alarodian for the union of Hurro Urartian and Northeast Caucasian, however, the validity of both Alarodian and North Caucasian hypothetical families is rejected or viewed as doubtful by most historical linguists. Agricultural vocabulary The Proto Northeast Caucasian language had many terms for agriculture, and Johanna Nichols has suggested that its speakers may have been involved in the development of agriculture in the Fertile Crescent. They had words for concepts such as yoke, as well as fruit trees such as apple and pear that suggest agriculture was already well developed when the proto-language broke up. See also Northwest Caucasian language North Caucasian language References Bibliography External links 
Various Northeast Caucasian language dictionaries online from IDS, select simple or advanced browsing. CIA Linguistic Map of the Caucasus.